Welcome to the Steve Ames Show with guitarist Sandy Renda, pianist Mike Yanuzzi, and my special guest, entertainer Tuvia. And now, on with the show. <laughs> Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jack. I don't care if I never get back. Let me root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jack. I don't care if I never get back. Let me root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. Take Me Out to the Ball Game, written by Jack Norworth and Albert Von Tilzer. And now here are two musicians having a ball at the guitar, Sandy Renda. <laughs> and at the piano, Mike Yanuzzi. <laughs> An old song is like an old friend. And here's one of my oldest friends. <laughs> Down by the old mill stream Where I first met you With your eyes of blue Dressed in gingham too It was there I knew That you loved me Sixteen, my village queen, by the old mill stream, down by the old mill stream, where I first met you, with your eyes of blue, dressed in gingham too. There I knew that you loved me true. You were sixteen, my village queen, by the old mill stream. Sandy Randa, nice Mike Yanuzzi, welcome Hello. back to the show. And Mike, this marks 20 years that you have been the musical director of the Steve Ames Show. Congratulations. Wow. Thank you. It was exactly 20 years ago, April of 1999, that you joined our show. Sandy joined one month earlier in March of 99, so congratulations. Thank you. Does it seem that long? No, for more like 40 years. No. Oh, no. okay, okay. And We've of course, run. we opened up with Take Me Out to the Ball Game because I know that you are a very big baseball fan. <laughs> Tell us about your love for baseball. Uh, wow, you know, I mean, uh, it's, the, it's the Yankees and it's been a great run, and they're having a good year so far, and I hope it ke they keep it up this year because uh, we've been waiting. It's been been 10 long years since we've had a world championship. We better get another one this year. So you're enjoying baseball season? I am. I absolutely am. Yes. You watch a lot of the TV and radio we, broadcasts? Absolutely. Absolutely. I share, I share that with my children mm -hmm. as well. They love the Yankees, too. Interestingly enough, my father was a Red Sox fan, so uh -oh. you can imagine how I grew up. <laughs> really? With that, yes. Uh, he actually met um, Jimmy Fox when he was young. Uh, when the Newark Bears played, uh, it was the Yankees minor league team, and uh, they played in City Stadium in Newark, and my father would go to see them, and the Red Sox minor league team came to town, and it happened that Jimmy Fox was rehabbing an injury or something, 
and he played and he was one of their great players and actually got to talk to Jimmy Fox and ever since then he be, he became a Red Sox fan. That was before your time, oh, right? <laughs> yeah. Was that in the 40s? <laughs> that was in the 40s, yeah. And he always used, you know, so his brothers were all Yankee fans and loved Joe DiMaggio at the time. So they would all have battles and that just, you know, when we grew up together, of course, when I was growing up, you know, and then I became, I don't know how I became a Yankee fan, him being a Red Sox fan. <laughs> did you ever play baseball? When I was a kid, yes. You did? I did, sure. What position? Uh, third base and first base. Very nice. You know, the last time that I sang Take Me Out to the Ball Game on our show was in 1994 in honor of Phil Rizzuto <laughs> being inducted into the, the Hall Baseball Fame. Hall of Fame. Sure. That was the year he made it, yep. 1994. Mm -hmm. And as you know, Phil Rizzuto was my neighbor for many That's years right. when we lived in Hillside. I lived on <laughs> Hollywood Avenue, and Phil Rizzuto and his wife, Cora, they lived on Westminster only a few blocks away. Right. Mm -hmm. And I used to see Phil Rizzuto quite often at the post office or at local oh, yeah. restaurants. Yeah. Yep. And he was a very nice man and a lot of fun to talk with. So those are nice memories of the scooter, Phil Rizzuto. Do you remember his catchphrase? Holy oh, cow. That's right. That's right. Holy <laughs> cow. <laughs> that's right. And he was also a great broadcaster, too. <laughs> Sandy, what's on the musical menu for tonight? We're doing a, um, I don't know, I guess like a little Roaring Twenties. I'm not sure exactly when these songs were In the Twenties. In the Twenties, right. okay. Great, great tunes, man, to listen to, to dance to, uh, clap your hands to. Uh, we're doing a medley. Baby face into to 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 Tootsie Goodbye, AIM style. Two of my favorite Al Jolson songs. <laughs> Great songs. Let's hear Great. it for Sandy and Mike. making his third appearance on my show, international singer and pianist, Tuvia. <laughs> Once upon a time, a girl with moonlight in her eyes put her hand in mine and said she loved me so. But that was once upon a time Very long ago Once upon a time 
time we sat beneath the willow tree Counting all the stars and waiting for the dawn But that was once upon a time Now the tree is gone How the breeze ruffled through her hair how we always laughed as though tomorrow wasn't there we were young and didn't have a care where did it go once upon a time the world was sweeter than we knew everything was ours how happy we were then But somehow Once upon a time Never comes again Here's a song from Hello Dolly It only takes a moment for your eyes to meet and then your heart knows in a moment you will never be alone again. I held her for an instant, but my arms for sure are strong. Welcome back to Viet. So nice Thank to you have very you back much. on Thank the show the third much. time around. Wow. And tell us the origin of those songs that you opened up with. Uh, the first one was uh, from a show called All American, an old show. It was called uh, Once Upon a Time, a love song. I love this song. You don't hear it a lot. It's very nice. And the second song was from Hello, Dolly. Uh, also, you don't hear it a lot. It only takes a moment to fall in love. Written by Jerry Herman. Jerry Herman, Who wrote right. the entire score for Hello, Ain't Dolly. That's right. So you love Broadway shows. I love Broadway shows. Um, from the old shows, you know, like uh, 42nd Street, um, South Pacific. Oh, yes. Oklahoma. Oh, yes. Those were the kind of shows that I really love the music, the score, the lyrics, sophisticated. On the other hand, simple, you can hum along. That's right. Uh, and then over the years, it changed. Also beautiful songs like Hair and The Pippin, where uh, the music was a little bit more of a rock and roll That's type. true, yes. Uh, and yet wonderful. Right, the and score, a chorus the line. And chorus line, um, which was a little more sophisticated even, and intricate uh, orchestration. I would say, Marvin Ham Hamlish. That's right. So uh, I love all these Broadway shows, from the old ones to the new ones. Uh, how the music have changed over the years, it's just wonderful. And yet um, you can sing along, and it's sophisticated and rich and wonderful. Well, talking about how music has changed, you've been in the music business a long time. Oh, yes. And I understand you came to the United <laughs> States from Israel in the 1960s. 
That's right. That's right. Was it 1967? 67. 67. Right. Right after the Six Day War, I remember, through Europe and France, and then we came here, and I um, used to belong to a group, uh, a vocal group, um, international music, and we had an agent, um, a manager, in Hollywood, California. And he would book us all over the country, including Vegas. That's right. Enough, we opened uh, for Connie Francis and, uh, you know, some big stars. Big stars. And But we didn't make it at the end. So um, I did weddings and bar mitzvahs. What and you're still, you you're still going strong st after all these years. I still uh, do it, and I do performances as Steve Ames' show. That's right. This is your is, third appearance on my show. Which is wonderful. And I've seen you perform many times in person when you played at the JCC in West Orange and when you played at the Springfield Pool in Springfield. That's right. And you wowed them. <laughs> you, they That's loved right. you. Yeah. Uh, I love all these shows. And uh, for the retirement communities, communities I do some uh, uh, performances also. So, you play uh, all ages. All ages. All ages. Even for the young kids, I do some DJ. Right. Uh, which is the music of today. <laughs> so you have what, the uh, DVDs, the CDs? It's, it's all CDs. computers. Today, oh, it's, now it's, on computers. it's all computers. All computers and a lot of speakers. Do you mix that up with your live performances? Play the piano, uh, sing, and then play some records? Yeah, that way it's uh, the best combination of uh, today's music, in my opinion, in my view, uh, because some of the music sounds much better live. Absolutely. And some music you need to put the DJ because it's there's so much electronics that it's very hard to imitate. And people recognize it so much that uh, you have to use the computer. And you're a and man of many talents because you sing in several languages. How many uh, languages thanks. do you sing in? I would say about seven or eight languages. That's amazing. French, Italian, Spanish, Portuguese, Yiddish, Hebrew, English, English. <laughs> <laughs> and did you mention Italian? Italian. And Spanish? And, and French. Spanish. And, and French. French. The European languages. Oh, yeah. Because well, that's uh, wonderful. Especially in this country, Italian and Spanish is very popular. Of course. Of so, course. So, uh, you know. That's wonderful. So your repertoire uh, must be in the hundreds, if not the thousands. Uh, it must be, you know, to survive in this uh, wonderful industry. Big you repertoire. Have to, uh, you have to, uh, you know, people right. have and requests. Do you have a website to give out for the folks? Uh, not really, just my telephone number. I used to have okay. a website, but it was hacked. Ah, What's oh, new? I see, I see, so, that's right. Now uh, tell us about this next number that you're going to do, also from a Broadway show. The next number is from the show Rent. Big hit. Uh, Seasons of Love. It's a whole big choir with some solos by a man and a woman. Most of it is sung by, uh, by the choir. But I uh, uh, arranged it for myself because I'm one man and I That's don't have a right. choir. That's right. Uh, but it's a wonderful song and so popular. So um, a lot of energy. Uh, Seasons of Love from Rent. Seasons of Love for Rent. Well, Tuvi, I want to wish you continued success in your many shows. Thank you very much, And thank much, you Steve. so much for coming back on my show for the third time. It's a pleasure. And we will have you many more times. Let's Thanks. hear it for Tuvia! Thank you so much. Thank you very much.
1,600 minutes 525,000 journey to plan 525,600 minutes How do you measure a life of a woman or a man? In truth that you learn or in time that you cried In bridges she burned or the way that she died It's time now to sing out for the story never end Let's celebrate, remember, a year of a life of friends Remember the love uh, Remember the love Remember the love, measuring love, seasons of love, pa da da, seasons of love, pa da 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 da, seasons of love, seasons of love. In his long career, Bing Crosby sang many great songs on radio, records, and in the movies. One of Bing's best movies was the Paramount film We're Not Dressing. And here's a song from that film written by Matt Gordon and Harry Revel. So love thy neighbor say how be ya gee but i'm glad to see ya pal how's tricks what's new love thy neighbor offer to share his burden tell him to say the word and you will see him through especially if there should be a beautiful girl next door Say to that girl next door, don't think I'm bold, but my mother told me to love thy neighbor, and you will find your labor a great deal easier, life will be breezier if you love thy neighbor. our show for tonight. I want to thank our producer, director, Jerry Schoenthal, and the two mighty musicians, Sandy Renda, Mike Inuzi, and our very special guest, Tuvia. And I want to thank all of you for watching. Until we meet again, remember... a haunting tune. It is better to have loved you dear and lost than never to have loved at all. It is better for no matter
know what the cost I held the world in sway An emperor for a day And thanks again For taking me on The road to paradise We lost our way But still I must convey My thanks Good night